Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this Cinema 4D quick tip, we're going to be looking at how we can use splines to make cuts. So let's get on with it. Okay, so I've got a scene set up here of which you don't need to worry about. What we're interested in is the examples that I've set up. So if we unhide example one and drop this down, you can see that this example um, contains a simple plane and a circle spline. Now we're going to use this circle spline to actually make a cut into our plane. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that the object that we're cutting into is accessible to us in terms of point edges and polygons. So it needs to be editable. So if we select the plane, which is currently a parametric object, and hit the C key, it is now editable. You can see this icon has changed. Now we can cut into it. The next thing we need to do is make sure that we're in either point mode or polygon mode. Uh, I think it works in edge mode, not sure, but I'm going to choose point mode and make sure the object that we're cutting into is selected. So this plane object. Now we just need to select our knife tool. So if I right click, you can see we've got our line cut here. We can get to it there or we can hit K twice. I'm just going to select it here. Now with our plane selected in point mode with the knife tool, we can hold down the control button and then put our cursor over the spline and then click. And you can see if we move our camera that this circle has now been cut into the surface of our plane. Now you see that it's kind of worked like a projection mode. So whatever our camera angle was like. So if I choose a different view hold control again and make another cut you'll see that it works in a projection type fashion so with that in mind let's go back control z a couple of times and we can actually go into a different view so if you want a more accurate cut we can actually go into the top view here uh, let's turn on a different view mode to make it easier for you guys and now i can just uh, hold control again hold over our spline and cut and if i go back into our perspective view you can see that this is what it looks like. So if we just hide our spline now, we have access to this. So let's go into our select and polygon. I can select this now and if I control drag this up, I can actually make a shape come out of that. And if we get underneath the plane, you can see that it's actually kind of extruded this up. And we've got a lovely circle there. So that's example one of how to cut using a spline. So I'm just going to hide this and unhide example two. Okay, in this example, you can see that we've got a cube here and we've got a couple of spline shapes. So I just wanted to show that you can make multiple cuts of these splines in an object and uh, the effect that it will have. So in example two, I've got a cube. I've also got a circle spline, an end side spline and a star spline. So as before, let's make the cube editable. I'm going to go into point mode. I'm going to select our knife tool by hitting K twice. And then I'm going to use these splines to make cuts. So I've got my cube uh, object selected and I'm going to go into the different views here. So let's do the end side here. Hold uh, control, make my cut. I'm then going to go into my front view to do the same thing with this circle here. Control click and the top view to do it with my star. Control click. And we can go back into this view. In fact, let's reset my view quick. There we go. We're not skewed now. And I'm just going to hide these. Alt paint turns them off. So now we've got access to our cuts and we can do different things with them. Oh, excuse me. I'm still in the knife tool. Let's go to select. Select this polygon, I'm going to control drag out. Very nice. This one, let's, I don't know, extrude in like so. And this one, I don't know, we could inner extrude, I suppose. And then go into loop mode, UL, select these splines, and then extrude these out. So that is how you use splines to cut into an object. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.
If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. And make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.